And now, marine weather around Alaska. Good evening, I'm David Kramer with the Marine Forecast. Starting off, we'll take a look at our ice edge. Up north, we still have a fair amount of ice near to the coast, but with some of the warmer river waters running into, especially the northeastern portions of the coastline, we are gonna start to see some more melting of that ice, uh, especially nearest to the coast. And as we look forward in time on Friday, we do expect a lot of the ice pack to start to shift off to the west due to some of the winds that we have coming in that we'll see in a minute. Looking down at the rest of our marine forecast on Thursday for the Panhandle area, light weak winds in the inside waters until we get down to the uh, most southern location, southeast winds 10 knots there. Light winds around 10 knots out of a more northwesterly direction for the Gulf waters. As we move into Friday, uh, pretty similarly with light flow, more of a southerly direction in the inside waters around 10 knots there. Out in the Gulf waters, still fairly light as well, 10 to 15 knots out of a northwesterly direction. As we look out over south central area, much of the locations, variable winds, fairly light around 10 knots or less, till we get by the Barren Islands where we'll see westerly winds around 15 knots. As we move into Friday, still fairly light, 10 knots for much of the Gulf waters into Prince William Sounds, sound around 10 knots variable. And then as we get into the Cook Inlet area, picking up a little bit here, southerly flow 15 to 20 knots is expected. For the Alaska Peninsula and Kodiak Island, starting by Kodiak Island, westerly winds 15 knots through Shelikoff Strait, uh, variable winds around 10 knots on the east side of the island. And we're going to see a primarily westerly component to winds around the peninsula, uh, getting up to as high as 15 to 20 knots on the Bering side, 10 to 15 knots on much of the Pacific side, until we get closer towards the southern end of Kodiak Island, around 20 knots there out of the northwest. For Friday, light variable winds around Kodiak Island around 10 knots. That's going to extend down through the Pacific side of the Alaska Peninsula. And then weaker winds on the Bering side as well, 10 knots there, variable, until we get closer to Bristol Bay, where we start to see a southwest component to the flow. Out over the Aleutian Islands, starting the central and eastern Aleutians, south to southwest winds, 15 to 20 knots expected. As we get by the western Aleutian Islands, a little bit stronger there, getting up to as high as 25 knots out of a southerly direction, diminishing a little bit as we get closer towards Shimia. Then on Friday, still a primarily southerly wind component, 15 to 20 knots for those western Aleutian Islands. And then more southwesterly as we get by the central and eastern Aleutian Islands, 15 to 20 knots there. Along the west coast of the state, primarily southerly flow, around 25 knots through much of the coastline, a little bit weaker in Norton Sound and out of a southwest direction, 20 knots there. But as we look out over uh, the Bering Sea, out by St. Matthew Island, 20 knots out of a southwesterly direction, that's going to be true for the Pribilof Islands as well. Then on Friday, 15 to 20 knots for Pribilof Islands through St. Matthew Island, out still of a southerly to southwesterly flow. And then along the west coast, pretty similar southwest winds, 15 to 20 knots are expected. As we look up north, we'll start on the west coast here. Primarily easterly flow getting strongest nearest to the Bering Strait, around 25 knots there, diminishing as we get farther to the north, 10 to 15 knots is expected. And then really light winds along the Arctic coastline, uh, still primarily out of an easterly direction, but only around five knots is expected. Then on Friday, we're really gonna start to see those winds pick up, 15 knots out of that easterly direction. That's what's gonna drive that ice pack to start to push farther to the west. As we look down the west coast of the state, we are going to see flow shifting to become more southerly, 10 to 20 knots, uh, strongest skin as we get closer toward the, the Bering Strait area. For a quick recap of some of our weather out on Thursday, we do expect a frontal system to be pushing into the western portions of mainland Alaska, bringing rain back to the west coast, all the way down through the Bristol Bay area and all the way up through the North, or Kotzebue Sound area. Behind this system, we are going to see some rain in the southern Bering as well as the Aleutian Islands. And out ahead of this, we're starting to close the gap where we had some drier conditions out over mainland Alaska. And that's going to be pushing off farther to the east and down in the eastern locations of south central Alaska as well. We do expect some areas of fog up along the Arctic coastline, even though they won't see a lot of wind on or a lot of rain on Thursday. And then down in the Panhandle area, we are still seeing some drier conditions, just some isolated rain showers up by the coastal mountains and out by the Yakutat area. Then finally on Friday, we are gonna see rain returning to the Panhandle area from some flow we're getting from the south. And out over mainland Alaska, some weaker lows moving through the pattern now that are gonna spread rain all the way across the state. Heaviest precipitation expected across the west coast and lighter rainfall as we get into the interior, especially as we get into the eastern portions of the interior and the eastern portions of south central Alaska.
Rain will be spreading out along the Arctic coastline as well, mixing with some of the fog that we expect in the area. And then behind these lows in our uh, westerly flow here, we do have rain spreading throughout the Bering Sea and continued rainfall for the Aleutian Islands.